really? Hi, welcome to the Kate and Kurt show. Um, this is our 15th um, show together, so happy anniversary. Thank you, this is great. It's been a very wonderful 15 uh, first episode, so oh, this will be the 15th, and uh, let's get right to it. Let's shall we? Yes. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that my Sacred Springs website offers local discounts every single month. This month, it's going to be $10 uh, off any service from Paw Prince Grooming. Um, that's Kathy Bradway's new business. Um, you can find it on the website. It's gonna look like a coupon right here. Um, and the, the services are listed. Take advantage, she's in Stafford, um, and she's great. Yeah, she does a great job. Oh, I, and brought, I brought my dog down there. Did you? Did yeah. you go down there too? Yes, I did. Great. Uh, I have my nails done. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And her phone number is 684-2198. Schedule your appointment with your puppy dog. Okay, and I'd like to mention <laughs> I'd like to mention the second annual Tina Nowinski Memorial Golf Tournament. Um, it's going to be Friday, September 9th at the Elmcrest Country Club. Um, um, I say um too much, by the way. People have told me. Where's that, Kurt so. Brown? Yeah, Kurt Brown. Um, it's a hundred dollars for the scramble. Okay, um, and that's going to include lunch and dinner. Dinner will be a uh, pig roast, and included in that is an additional um, certificate to go back to Elmcrest Country Club. All proceeds will be going to the Lucas Foundation and Tina Nowinski's memory. Yes, and again, do I need to do the whole show myself? You might as well. It's a bad week for me. But. This Saturday, the twentieth, will be uh, the Katie Wah bike run. Okay, rain date will be the twenty-first. Um, let me just see here. Um, Registration starts at 9 a.m. and it is at the Italian Club. Uh, please come out and remember Katie. Um, the proceeds are going to go, they're going to be split three ways this year. Katie's Trust Fund, the Smilac Fund, and the Jeff Braun Family. So make sure you can come out and support. All the information is going to be at uh, MyStaffordSprings.com for more info. Yeah. Also this Saturday, Union's Old Home Day. Our neighbors up here to the east. Like our um, little brothers. Yes, they are. <laughs> They're going to take that as an insult. Well, we're going to cut it out. Okay, one more time. Right. Also this Saturday, the um, Union's Old Home Day celebration. Our neighbors to the east um, also go to Stafford High School. Um, it'll start at 9 a.m. The event's on the green. Um, at, there'll be a school open house from 10 a.m. to 12. Uh, unveiling the Veterans Memorial as well, so that'll be a big thing uh, up there for those veterans. 11 a.m. they'll be at the Grove Republican Town Committee will be selling hot dogs at noontime and chicken barbecue by the U Union Fire Department. Six dollars for a quarter chicken, that's a great deal, and eight dollars for a half chicken. Uh, 3 p.m. will be a softball game at the school and at 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. a great band. You can dance to the music to, uh, of Coltrane. Uh, Timmy, Timmy, um, Timmy Goodall. Oh. Kimmy Goodall's band, uh, who I used to work with for the state, uh, and his daughter's Melissa. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, we from Melissa. Yep. So that's going to be a great time. Make sure you head out there on Saturday if you if you don't have anything else to do in the living room. Excellent. Oh, gee, I drive somebody else. You do. Oh, well, I just want to keep everybody updated. Um, the Stafford Library, as you know, has a lot of events, a lot of free stuff for our community to take advantage of. Here's just a couple things. I'm sorry, tomorrow, the 18th at 6 p.m. is going to be the family barbecue. Everyone is welcome for food and fun. And then the 25th is going to be Indian dinner. Watch Children of Heaven. I was going to say Children of the Corn. Yeah. Um, Weren't you in that movie? <laughs> you used to date Malachi, didn't you? Are you listening to this guy? Dee's laughing at me. I can't even believe it. The 25th at 6 p.m. is going to be the Indian dinner. You can watch Children of Heaven, a warm-hearted family film, and enjoy authentic Indian dinner. So that's what's going on at the Stafford Library. Good. That's neat. Um, also, we did it. If you if you watch, we did an interview with uh, MMA fighter Matt Bissett from Stafford, who's going to be fighting at the Mohegan Sun on October 8th. We need to go down and support him. Uh, it's going to be a great event 
Um, are you going to go down? Because I'm definitely going. And I promised Matt I'd help him and John McLaughlin get 500, 500 tickets. tickets from people from Stafford. So you need to help me in this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to talk to John real briefly. So um, check this out. Here with another Stafford's MMA champions. John McLaughlin, uh, what's the belt is this that you got? Uh, this is the Bantamweight belt, 135 and below. So. 135 below, and that's a reality fighting yep. champion. Um, Matt Bissett, we talked to him recently. Uh, he, he talked about you and your brother and, and some of the other guys in Stafford. Doesn't he also hold the reality fighting belt yep. as well? He's the 155 champion, lightweight champion. Lightweight champion, yep. 155. Now, he says... He, his walk around weight is like 180 and he gets all the way down. He gave us some idea like how he loses weight. What, what do you walk around at? Um, most of the time like 160, 155. Really? Area. And what do you have to get down to? Uh, 135, oh. 136. <laughs> and you don't have an ounce of fat on you. No, so not most of the time. Yeah. yeah, not when I cut down anyway. So yeah. yeah. That's cool. Now you have a big fight coming up against Jeff Fidel, yep. correct? Yep. Now did you guys grow up together? I know he was from Stafford. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He went to Stafford High, went to Stafford High. Um, he used to come back and help me wrestle. Like He uh, helped Coach Amati when okay. he was going to uh, AIC in Springfield. He used to come down, help me uh, you know, help me a little bit of technique or whatever. Yeah. He's only wrestled two years, and he wrestled a bunch in high school. Yep. So he showed me a lot of stuff, helped me out a lot. Yeah, that's cool. And how did you guys end up getting to class here? Um, we're probably two of the best 135ers in, in Connecticut right now, yeah. and are uh, in the Northeast or whatever. So, uh, yeah, he's the next in line. Yep. He's 2 and 0 and 4 and 0. He's a he's a great fighter. Uh, but yeah, that's how he got to become next. Are you guys still friends? You got a little bad blood between you? Uh, how does that work? Well, we were friends, but I heard he's been talking a little bit of smack at the bars and stuff, okay. telling people he's going to take my belt, which I really don't appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, if he was my friend, he wouldn't be running his mouth. Yep. He hasn't really fought anybody. I've fought some pretty tough dudes, yep. and it's like, we'll, we'll see that night. Yeah, know? it's going to be good. Now, the night you're going to be fighting will be October 8th yep. at the Mohegan Sun. Um, we talked about how can people get tickets? Uh, they can come right to me at, at Cumbies or uh, go online if they need to. They'd rather okay. come to me and get Come them. to him. And in Matt as well, because yep. he's going to be fighting that night too. I made a promise to Matt that I would get at least 500 people from Stafford nice. at that fight. So help me out, fulfill my promise. Help out John and Matt down at Mohegan Sun, October 8th. It's a beautiful place. It's That's nice. right. It's real nice. Okay, so come support our fighters. Thanks. All right, so make sure that you go down to Mohegan Sun, October 8th. Um, the prices of the tickets are. $75, $55, and $30. And you can go go to Matt's um, page right on Facebook, and you can get in touch with him there and, and buy the tickets directly from him. Um, and that helps him out, so let's do that, and let's let's get him. Um, you know what? Let's just kick it up to Taka real quick. Yeah. Uh, we'll go up to Taka. He's got the weather for the week for Stafford's Park. So we'll check out the Mill Pond store. Curtis, I am here at Mill Pond Country Store. Different backgrounds here with the cows and stuff. Uh, with Taka, Taka, we got a hell of a lot of rain this past week. Tell me what's going on in the weather. Well, as you can see in the back, uh, the cows are standing up, and that used to be a thing that I learned when I was young. As long as the cows are standing up, there's, there's no rain in the forecast, and, and that's that's the case today. Today is the perfect day, either for the beach or golf. Right here, tea time 1, 1 30 this afternoon. Uh, it's gorgeous, take advantage of it, uh, weather should be mid-80s, uh, tomorrow looks uh, good in the daytime, in the morning, uh, sorry to inform you, but rain will be coming in, I'm thinking at this point around 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night, uh, the night golfers that come leave tomorrow night, they should make it in, uh, Thursday night with the rain coming in, Friday actually looks like a washout, uh, if you're going to come to the Speedway, make sure there is no races. I don't believe there will be. Uh, scattered showers through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, mostly in the afternoon. Uh, tag sales could get hurt uh, on that. And uh, right now, Monday looks like rain, then long range, Tuesday and Wednesday looks good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know, but it's that time of the year. And uh, you know, we're going to find that as we continue through the, the rest of the year. But, uh, get out on a good day, get out tomorrow morning before the rains come in. I know we had a lot of rain and uh, you can see the pond behind us is up and uh, 
you know. But that's uh, you can't do nothing about the weather. You can't do anything about Mother Nature. Now we can do something about the birthdays. Oh, birthdays! We got a few ones in here. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Brian uh, August. Uh, Sean. Uh, that was tomorrow, but later this week is uh, Sean uh, Gushane, Melissa Carr, Donald Stone, uh, Laura Pansera, only 54 years old. Laura, young Laura Pansera. <laughs> and uh, Mike Chenard, a young kid, 25 years old. Uh, happy birthday to you all, and I hope you have good days uh, on the day of your birthday. And also another um, birthday shout out, Tina Nowinski, uh, her birthday would have been this Friday. So happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, Tina. And uh, hey, people, uh, enjoy the days and uh, the weekend. Uh, and uh, stay safe. Stay safe. Thanks, Taka. You're welcome. Okay. Last Friday night at Stafford Speedway, two kids from Stafford came home with victories. Albert Saunders, I believe it was his first one of the year in the, um, in the Deer Stock Division, as well as five-time champion in Stafford's own, Ooh, Ryan Pasako, yeah, well, uh, who's a great champion and a great uh, great kid. And congratulations to him, and I believe he's also in the point lead down there for that division, so keep up with the good work. And let's a shout out to Woody Pitcat who I believe had his best finish ever in a modified tour event up wow. at Loudoun Motor International Speedway there. Uh, came in second, almost came in first in a modified tour event in the number 28. So a shout out to Woody. Great job, uh, all the drivers this weekend. And good luck this Friday night. And Taka said they might not get it in because of the weather. Let's hope they do. And head on down to Safford Speedway. I believe it's the late model 100 this week. So Ooh, that's a good up. one. It is. May have to go down for that one. Yeah, it should be fun. Awesome. All right. Well, should we eat now? Let's eat. We're good. Okay. Great atmosphere down in Basel. I'm here with um, owner Alex Calissus. Come on down here every weeknight, two to five. With a happy hour. Come on down where the what is where the food is great and the atmosphere is better. That's right. <laughs> food is great. The atmosphere is better. Come on down. See you later.